Okay, I'm going to take my time to talk to you about modulation of immune responses as a strategy to provide uh, disease therapy. So we're interested in the lab in, in particular in a cell of the immune system called a T cell. A T cell is a crucial part of the adaptive immune response. Uh, and we're also interested in dendritic cells purely because these are very important cells in activating T cells and also in determining what type of T cell response you get. So, T cells can be uh, divided roughly into two groups. You can have effector T cells and regulatory T cells. Um, effector T cells are crucial for clearing infection and for dealing with tumors, whereas regulatory T cells uh, ensure that the T cell response is appropriate to the given conditions. Now, this is important because effector T cells can do a lot of damage to normal tissue if they're not kept under control. <clears throat> So a healthy immune system has a good balance between effector T cells and regulatory T cells. Um, now this is important because uh, if you have an inadequ ina inadequate effector T cell response, you, your immune system fails to clear infection and your immune system fails to deal with tumors. And, uh, in contrast, if you have uh, insufficient regulation, your effector T cells can turn against normal tissue and this results in autoimmunity. Now, exciting from the point of view of disease therapy is the potential to modulate the ratios or, or proportions of effector versus regulatory T cells. Uh, so this would be useful, for instance, in a case of autoimmunity, if we can promote the development and function of regulatory T cells while inhibiting the development and function of effector T cells, we would hopefully be able to restore the balance and uh, terminate the autoreactive T cell response. In contrast, for if we are looking to treat cancer, we want to drive a highly potent T cell response that's specifically against a tumor. So we would like to be able to promote a really potent effect of T cell response while limiting the regulation. So <clears throat> this is interesting, but what controls the balance of these two cells, or these two types of T cells? Well, one factor that's been, been found to be absolutely crucial is a factor called mTORC1, which stands for mammalian target of rapamycin complex 1. Now, mTORC1 is important. Uh, it, it regulates the balance of T cells, so it, regulates, uh, it promotes the generation and function of effector T cells while limiting the re uh, generation of regulatory T cells. In fact, mTOR actually has an important function in regulating a, a wide range of immune cells, but we're going to concentrate just simply on T cells, which is our, our focus. So exactly how mTORC1 does this is it's really poorly characterized. But it is interesting to note that mTORC1 also has, has some key and well-characterized roles in regulating various aspects of cellular metabolism. Um, now these roles for mTOR have been characterized in non-immune cells and to a large extent they have been overlooked when thinking about the function of immune cells. So are these two distinct roles for mTORC1 or are they related? Now, this is essentially the focus of our research group. We are one to investigate how mTOR-controlled metabolism links to the function of key immune effector, T effector cells. Uh, and we have actually characterized one such mTORC1-dependent relationship that involves a protein called HIF1 that uh, links uh, glucose metabolism to the, uh, the function of cytotoxic T cells, which are a key T cell subset that are, that are involved in killing virally affected, infected cells and tumor cells. So if you disrupt either mTORC1 or HIF in these cells, they no, are no longer able to sustain high levels of glucose metabolism and also are no longer able to maintain the tools that they require to migrate and kill their target cells. So this is our focus. We want to understand how mTORC1 regulates various aspects of cellular metabolism and how this relates to the function of key immune cells, such as various uh, subsets of T cells, but also the dendritic cells that are important in, po in driving different types of T cell responses. Now, we believe that in doing so, we will facilitate the design of novel uh, immune modulatory strategies, and this will lead to the development of new patient therapies. Uh, and just to say, this is the one uh, sort of uh, uh, relationship that we've characterized to date, mTORC1 regulating HIF, HIF1 HIF alpha, engine metabolism, and cytotoxic T cell, func T -cell uh, function. And there's a lot of uh, uh, lines here we'd like to draw in the future, but this is where we're at right now. And that's just 
just leaves me to leave it on to Mary and Megan.